Hi, this is Steve from Pixelbump. Welcome to this tutorial on the Geek and Sundry Open for Cooptitude. Let's take a look at what we're going to do today. Here we have a nice 3D animation scene with 2D characters integrated. What the director talked to me about when we started this open was getting an 8-bit or 16-bit look because that's what Ryan and Felicia were going to be playing in the game. I had done something similar years ago for a show called Code Monkeys, where we took that 16-bit look and updated it to a more modern 3D world. The problem was it was really time-consuming, and I didn't want to go through all that setup again, because the way we had to do it back then was opening Cinema 4D, we would bring in our shape to the background, we'd have to come in and very carefully trace out the shape of the object we'd want to bring into 3D, create an extrusion for it, and then texture it. And as you can see, I've already done a bad job and it's taking a long time. So I knew that Photoshop had added a new feature that would make this kind of job a lot faster. So let's jump over to Photoshop real quick. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do for this is come down to your preferences and go to the performance tab. And here you wanna make sure that you're using your graphics processor. If this is unchecked, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and check it, close Photoshop, and then reopen it. If it's already checked, you're ready and set up to go. So for this technique, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open up one of our 2D textures and here we have that same cloud and what we're gonna do is go to our 3D menu is go new 3D extrusion from selected layer it's gonna ask us if we want to go to the 3D space let's go ahead and say yes it's gonna chew through it for a second now we have an extruded 3D shape based on the alpha of our image so if I come in and rotate, I can see it has a beautiful extrusion. It's perfectly set to our alpha. Now, it's a little longer than I'd like, so I can either set that here, or when it's in our 3D program, we can change the extrusion there. But that's about it. You can come in and change your bevel types. It'll give you a lot of nice options, like here we have a nice fuller rounded effect. We have simple bevels, we've got twisting bevels, all sorts of nice little things that Photoshop has added. I'm gonna stick with the straight extrusion. Then I'm gonna go back to my 3D menu and I'm gonna export my 3D layer. And here I'm gonna name it Cloud and it's gonna export it as a DAE, a Collada. This is an interchange format similar to FBX or a Lembeck. And the nice thing about Collada is it retains the texture information when it does the export. So the texture, let's go ahead and expect, export that in its original format. If you want to choose BMP or a JPEG or PNG, anything else, you can do that here. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is and click OK. And that's it. Now, if I open up, now if I open up that DAE in Cinema 4D, it's going to do its import, and I'm going to have my exact object here in Cinema 4D perfectly ready to animate. It's going to come in with its own lights that you're going to want to delete, that you can delete out, but you're ready to start enjoying your new custom 3D shape. Let's go ahead and do that again. We're going to come back, let's do the coin, and we're going to go to our 3D layer, new extrusion, and for this one, let's go ahead and round it a bit. We'll come down, we'll export it, and bring that into 3D. And here we have a nice rounded coin. So 
All I did was build up these objects from Photoshop images into Cinema 4D, creating nice, quick, extruded shapes that I could then animate. And I think this is a really great way to get fast 3D objects from Photoshop into your scene. All right, so let's take a look at the compositing part of this in After Effects. Now, after I had rendered my 3D animation, I exported the camera over to After Effects as well. And then I just integrated 2D cutouts of Felicia and of Ryan performing their actions. Each of those were simple run, jump, and fight cycles that were just animated a frame at a time and then looped into the open. Then by adding some simple After Effects text, a few particular layers for the coins that fly out, and some motion blur, I had a really great animation that combined a 3D look with an old school 2D feel. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've learned something that you can use in your own work. If you have any questions, please hit me up on either Twitter or Facebook or in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Go and create.